Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and with the release of Ubuntu 2010 Groovy Gorilla comes the sub-releases, well, everything that's based on, essentially, Ubuntu, including my favorite Linux desktop operating system, Pop! OS. And now that they're at version 20, let's talk about some of the new features inside of here. And it's not a major update, but it's definitely something I like. And yes, we'll get this out of the way. I still recommend it over Ubuntu because of the fit, finish, and polish that they put on top of basically Ubuntu and add some shortcuts. And one of the things you may have noticed right away looking at these tabs is a feature we'll talk about last, but it's probably my favorite feature of Pop! OS 20.10. So the new Linux kernel is at version 5.8, GNOME's at 3.38, security updates, etc., and a few other errata and details. But the big things that are exciting here is fractional scaling. If you have really high-res monitors, you need some of the fractional scaling in between. That is now supported. So, it, Or maybe some people who have a limited site want to just expand and make things look bigger. That's not a reason to use that. External monitor support and graphics in hybrid graphics mode. This is for people, especially with laptops that have dual video cards. And the option to support this used to require a reboot and no longer. Now you can choose some of the settings in there. But in version 20.04, they introduced the concept of these tiling windows. And they're pretty neat. The way you can tile windows instead of having everything individually or sharing things between desktops. And oh, by the way, this is the cool retro theme that I'll leave a link to. I just thought it looked kind of novel. I thought people might be interested in taking a look at it. But nonetheless, it's a pretty innovative way to handle things. So these are virtual desktops, which is native for Linux. Now, what I want you to notice is that I had the tiling turned on originally and I turned it off right away and never used it until version 20. Uh, 10 now because, well, it just didn't work right because of a really specific problem. And that problem being the inability to make floating window exceptions. So in the past, we're going to open up right now and we've got these tiled together. Matter of fact, let's untile them all together and we'll start from the beginning with it. So here are a bunch of individual windows that I can, of course, tab through like normal. And some of these are on different desktops. And there's this grouping of windows and then this grouping of windows now. Well, with one laptop with all of this, it can be quite a bit. So let's talk about how that works with tiling. Now the problem in the past, we will turn on tiling. All right, now I've got this and this, but I want them to be grouped together. And I could just drag these tabs over there, but this is where things get kind of interesting with the groupings. So we'll go to the grouping option and we'll drag this on here. Now that's that group and that group but individually, they're treated as individual windows that can be dragged around to different desktops. Matter of fact, I can drag this back up to this desktop and go here. And now they're all tiled together. But the challenge is gonna be, let's open up Calculator. If we open up Calc, that looks stupid. There's no other way to describe it. And the problem was we couldn't make exceptions to this. So let's select the calculator. And uh, we'll just current window only, just this one of it. Hey, look, it's floating now. And it doesn't get stuck in full screen. I could have made that a permanent switch. I could have not. This is the one thing that it was really missing. So I'm really happy they listened to people because, well, Pop! OS and that team over at System76 does a good job of that. And uh, this feature makes this extremely usable all of a sudden. So now I can take certain exceptions that I don't want grouped together and they're handled that way where I can say, all right, it can go behind these windows. So I still have my groupings. I still have my ability to uh, tile things together. And it works on all the individual screens. It has all the other customizations on there. But that's probably the big thing that I noticed about this. Now, of course, Pop! OS is going to include anything else that you've seen coming over in Ubuntu, including something I probably should have mentioned, but it's worth a note of the percentage being at the top here for battery percentage. That's actually something that was a, well, kind of a hidden feature before you had to tweak around to get uh, turned on. I can't remember what you had to do to do it. It's been so long, but now it's just a button that was added to Ubuntu and of course brought over here to Pop. And as I said, I still think Pop! OS is a great way to start. I really think Ubuntu is a solid desktop operating system, but a little bit bland. Pop! OS, along with all the keyboard shortcuts that allow you to be able to really navigate things in what I feel is a very efficient way, is one of the reasons I like Pop! OS. 
The installer works really well and of course allows you to encrypt the entire drive on the fly right from the go, which is something I really care about when it comes to security that we, especially on a laptop where it is, well, more potential for it to wander off somewhere. I like the fact that it has a boot password and everything set up on here with full drive encryption. Uh, Pop! OS, the upgrade process, Going from 2004 to 2010 on both my laptop and my desktop went really smooth. I didn't do a video on it because it's not very engaging content. It prompts you for an upgrade. You say yes, it downloads. It asks you to reboot. It applies the upgrade on reboot. And I believe it reboots one more time and that's it. You're in and all my settings and everything didn't go away at all. Matter of fact, it was probably the smoothest update of any one I've done over the years with Pop! OS, which I've been using for uh, quite a while. This does include for my video production and my video editing and Caden Live and all the other open source tools I use. And yes, I do run this desktop for my business. So big thumbs up and hats off to the folks over at System76 and, Pop and the Pop! OS team because they did a great job on this version. Uh, Pain-free upgrade, really great features. And now I want to use the tiling windows because of the way they can stack together and are managed. And although I've only been running this for a couple days now, it's actually been pretty smooth. I haven't found any quirks or bugs or anything, but if I do find them, of course, I'll make sure they get reported because you can't just complain about them to get them fixed. You have to go through processes and bug reporting and document them. That's how the developers know to fix problems. But my uh, big thumbs up on this release and thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general. Even suggestions for new videos, they're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.